After the latest Nintendo Direct, it's fair to say my mind is swimming in just the possibilities of Tears of the Kingdom. And this is without even diving into the other stuff that happened in the Direct. As an example, I'm literally downloading the Metroid Prime remaster right now. It's apparently a very brilliantly done game, and for only $40, I mean, it's number one on the eShop, no surprise. You should definitely be playing this game, if not now, when the physical version releases on the February 22nd. But that's not the topic of today's video. It is Tears of the Kingdom. Expect a ton of Tears of the Kingdom content because that is my most anticipated game ever. It's a sequel to my favorite game of all time. But here's the thing. There is one thing they didn't announce during this Direct that some people, including myself, did expect. And that is a special edition Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED. Now, they didn't have to announce it in a Direct. In fact, a lot of the other ones that they've announced in the past weren't actually announced in Directs. They were announced separately. They were like Twitter drops, and they would just randomly come out a few weeks before the game, and they would probably give us like two weeks to get pre-orders in and stuff. So that's really not that surprising. So we might not even see an announcement of this thing until March or early April. But the thing is... I can tell you quite confidently that not only are we getting a Nintendo Switch OLED Tears of the Kingdom Edition, we've already seen it, and I can prove it. <laughs> now look, we know about the leaks that were reported on before about this potential Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED. You've seen the images, here they are again. Look. It's been called real. It's been called fake. No one's been able to really fully debunk it. Although there's been like, oh, because the box art isn't 100% perfect and maybe things don't run perfectly to the edge. And, and there's just some, some things that look a little off. Maybe you don't like the design. Maybe the art looks a little lazy. But there are now some things that we can look back on and look at this and look at stuff today after that direct and go, you know what? That was real. It might not have been a finalized you know, one, it could have been a prototype, but it was real. And as such, we are getting that likely design soon. Here's why we could say this. There are two things to look at. One of them is the symbol on the front of the Joy-Cons. All right, that symbol on the front of the Joy-Cons that has that egg-like shape with the two wings and the eyes below it, we had never seen that symbol anywhere before. It was not in any prior trailer, any prior art released by Nintendo. It literally looked like something that maybe even a fan made up, right? They looked at designs in the game and they said, hey, I'm gonna make up my own little thing here and throw it on the Joy-Cons. But here's the thing, the collector's edition has that exact symbol in it. Remember, we had never seen this symbol officially before. That was the only place it ever appeared, and now it's on the collector's edition stuff and likely going to be in the game. So that's very interesting, but that's not the only thing. The symbol on the back of the Joy-Cons, there's a four-pin set that we are getting with Tears of the Kingdom, collector's edition, and while we only really get a full look at a single pin and just a tiny smidge of the edge of a pin, when you look at the back of the Joy-Cons, you'll see symbols that look very similar to the one we see, but obviously not exactly. So what are we talking about? Well, that second pin that we only see just the edge of seems to line up exactly with one of the symbols on the back of the Joy-Con. Now, what these four symbols mean, their importance in the game, we don't know, but what we can say is it does appear the little symbols, or at least one of them, is on one of the pins. So with those symbols also having never been seen before, combined with the symbol on the front of the Joy-Cons having never been seen before, it's highly likely that that leak of the Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED Edition was in fact real and is what we're going to get. And I know some of you are going to be very disappointed in that because you were really hoping it was fake and that you would get a different, better design. I know there's one aspect of the design I never really liked, and that was using the old family crest symbol from a prior, uh, you know, Nintendo 3DS special edition on the dock. I, I'm not really a fan of that, and I'm not really a fan of, you know, that symbol also being used on, like, other books by Nintendo it doesn't feel like that symbol fits with Breath of the Wild, if I'm completely honest, let alone Tears of the Kingdom. Something more Zonai related or whatever. It, look, it's it, Nintendo does what Nintendo does. They tend to reuse some of their art assets on their special edition, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. But the thing is, it obviously looks like this was really real. And it's weird because like there were other things that looked off in the images, right? Like 
the way the lighting is and some of the blurriness on some things. But bottom line is, this looks like it was a real leak and maybe it just wasn't the best quality phone photos. And one thing we don't talk about with phone photos that happens a lot more now than back in the day is our phones actually add extra processing to images to try to make them look better. And sometimes that extra processing messes with edges and, and stuff like that. So that could explain why some of the stuff doesn't look perfect in the shots. But all I know is those symbols had never actually been released by Nintendo before. So to have multiple symbols exactly right, now confirmed with the collector's edition, I mean, guys, that's as close to a confirmation as you're going to get until they damn well announce this thing. So we are clearly getting a Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition OLED. That was clearly a sneak peek you know, intentional leak or otherwise of the actual special edition. And we should be able to buy the thing here in the next couple of months. It's going to come out before the game because all the other special editions also came out before the game. When we can get pre-orders in, I don't know. People are fighting right now over pre-orders for the collector's edition because they haven't gone live at most retailers here in the U.S., at least not online. I believe they went live in Canada on GameStop, and I was informed by a couple people from Canada that they sold out within seconds. And obviously here in the U.S., there was a temporary listing up at Best Buy. That seems to have sold out. We don't know about in-person stuff. It's too early in the morning that I'm recording this for me to even call retail outlets around me to find out if they're taking pre-orders today because the first one I'm going to call is GameStop because they're local. And, hey, if they happen to be taking pre-orders of that collector's edition, I'm going to go in person and get a pre-order in. Maybe two, because maybe we can give away one. We'll see uh, what happens. I'm not sure if they'll let me get multiple pre-orders. Sometimes there's sticklers about that kind of stuff, one per person, right? Anyways, I'm really excited about this. I hope you're excited about it as well. I'm just trying to do the very, very best I can uh, to bring you all of the Tears of the Kingdom stuff. Not just the stuff that was announced or even like deeper analysis because there's brand new features in Tears of the Kingdom that we could talk about as well. And we likely will talk about things like crafting and just some really cool stuff going on. But I wanted to get to something that wasn't technically announced yesterday, but is true in hindsight of the information we have now obtained. So we're getting a Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED Special Edition, and this is it. Love it. Hate it. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. Now that we actually have some concrete proof that this is real, not speculation, actual proof from Nintendo themselves. That being said... You guys let me know what you think about this, and drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate all of the support. We will be live streaming again tonight at 8 p.m. Central Time. This probably won't even be our only video today. I just wanted to get this one out there because I don't know, or at least I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it. Not yet. Everyone's focused on the new enemies and the new crafting and all this other stuff, trailer analysis. I'm not going to be doing any deep dive trailer analysis here. We sort of did it on the live stream yesterday, uh, but we will be talking about a lot of this stuff in the coming days, weeks, and months. Thank you, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.